these two facilities. Mm -hmm. uh, we first started, it was five people. Now, alhamdulillah, for Juma, we have over 1,000 people. Uh -huh. Here in these buildings. People. One... In these buildings, we have four floors. Uh -huh. And when you come 10, 15 minutes after the Salat, the Juma uh, Salat starts, yes. then you can't get in. Okay. You have to pray outside, or you might have to pray Salat al Dhuha instead of Juma because there's no more space inside of the building. All right. So let me ask you, is there a plan to expand this building or find a new place? Well, alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed us where we have found a new place. It's about five minutes driving around the corner from this building. Uh, last December, mm -hmm. we purchased the building, alhamdulillah. There was one brother, mashallah, may Allah reward him. He was able to purchase the building for the community. Allah blessed him with a situation that went very good for him. Yes. And he wanted to see a Muslim school and he wanted to see a situation. So we just purchased a building around the corner that's 40,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. It used to be a warehouse. Right. And we've can, we're going, the intention is to convert this warehouse into a building where we can have a school from K to 12, an Islamic school mm -hmm. for the Muslim children. Also, where we have a masala space that can hold anywhere to between two and 3,000 people on the floor. Mm -hmm. Then also we can have an area where uh, we have in the facility a space designated for a janazah station. Yes. So that any Muslims mm -hmm. that die in the city of Philadelphia, that the, the Muslims can handle the burial. Right. Also, we have a facility there where we're putting in, a, inshallah, if Allah wills and give us the money to be able to do this project, uh, a full-fledged library, yes. a library that's going to be encompass Arabic, right. English, mm -hmm. circular knowledge, right. Islamic knowledge, mm -hmm. audio, right. video, right. and the likes, and all forms of educational uh, materials. Well, inshallah, Sadiq will get to visit that place or the location for your new masjid later. Okay, just tell me a bit, Sadiq, about uh, not about this community in specific, but in Philadelphia in general. Tell me about the acceptance of Muslims and Islam by the, the non-Muslim communities of Philadelphia. Well, one of the things that you uh, see uh, here, Omar, is that in Philadelphia, you might see Muslims driving anywhere. You see Muslim sisters, you see Muslim brothers, you see Muslim children in the city and as well as the suburbs. Because the presence of Islam in the city of Philadelphia as a whole is very, very strong. Mm -hmm. And if you start looking at even the families, mm -hmm. The families here in the city of Philadelphia, out of every 10 or 20 households, there's someone in their family that's Muslim. Mashallah. Their cousin, their brother, their niece, their mm -hmm. nephew, right. their grandmother, someone in their family is Muslim. And even the people who haven't accepted Islam yet, and may Allah guide them to Islam, even the people who haven't accepted Islam yet, they still see the presence of Islam, and they see the presence of the Muslim, and also they see the work. Sadiq, let me ask you now, because there's a lot of misconceptions in the world about Islam and Muslims. Do you think like the situation which you described here in Philadelphia, where people live in close proximity to the Muslims, their cousins and brothers are Muslims, gives the, uh, the residents of Philadelphia a better understanding, more than average, about Muslims and Islam? I, I think that's absolutely correct. And even to give an example of that, last year we have uh, a school up the street from us about five minutes. It's called the Germantown Friends School. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's ran by the Quakers right. of Pennsylvania. And if anyone knows the history about the Quakers of Pennsylvania, they're some of the people who were some of the founding fathers of this country. Right. And they actually, even after 911, they came to us mm -hmm. and they asked our school to give them people who would come to educate their children about what Islam is and what is the correct Islam and what are the Islamic concepts and what are some of the things that are not Islamic concepts to clear up